All right, so as many of you guys wanted, here is a shooting review of my homemade air gun. Uh, a lot of people wanted me to post it, so I'm going to do it. A lot of people wanted me to build it for them. I don't know if I can do that, because <laughs> that could be illegal, but I'm not sure. So anyway, I got my crony set up. My target there, I started, do, I started setting it in a little bit, so that's why there's some holes there. But let's turn the crony on. Find the on switch, and it looks like it's good. All right, and now let's pump this. I'm gonna pump it to about 50 PSI. It can, it can shoot pretty well anywhere between 40 and about 80, 90 PSI. I'm gonna do about maybe 40 or 50 PSI. See what we get for velocities there, and then um, I'm going to just go in 10 PSI increments up to about 80 or 90 and um, it takes about 15 pumps of this spike pump right here there's the numbers right there take about 15 pumps of this to get it up to uh, 50 PSI so I'm just going to skip all that and you guys won't see that but it'll be pumped up and I'm going to be using these marbles right here they're half inch in diameter, so they fit perfectly in the half inch copper pipe. Now, on they weigh. It says right here that they weigh. The whole uh, package weighs 140 grams. So I counted out one package, and it's about give or take 100 marbles. And so I, based on my calculations, these came out to be an average of 55.4 grains. So a 55.4 grain bullet. So like your standard 177 caliber lead pellet is about 7.9 grains. So this is 55.4 grains. So keep that in mind when you see the velocities coming up there. And uh, even if you have an energy calculator, you can uh, plug in those numbers in the energy calculator and see what you get for energy. So uh, I'm going to pump this up. And uh, you guys won't see the pumping, but uh, it'll be pumped up. I'm just going to put, put this in. All right, it's pumped up. Now I'm going to drop the marble in. Um, some people, well, actually, I've tried. I've experimented. Uh, a lot of the marbles are slightly different in diameter, like by like one, like one one thousandth of an inch, and uh, that could be the difference between putting it down and it rolling all the way down to the bottom, or like you having to stuff it all the way down. Um, so in that case, you have to you have to kind of like test out the marbles beforehand. Um, sometimes the the marble will get jammed if I used uh, too much wadding like this. Just use a paper towel, a piece of paper towel. Uh, so you put the marble on it like this, and you just stuff it down like that so it keeps a nice tight air pocket. Sometimes it'll get jammed like right here, um, and then you won't be able to shoot it out. <laughs> so just be careful. Um, I like to now just forget the wad, it's not that big a deal. And I just put it down like this, so I'll show you. So you put it down, and it falls all the way down. I mean, it's you probably heard that, but it's it's not that bad. So now I'm just gonna fire away. To put the camcorder right here, so you can see the velocity. Here's my target. Now this is at exactly 50 psi. So this is uh, the weakest shot with 50 50, uh, 50 psi. So now I'm gonna fire right through. See what we get. So at 50 PSI, you get 151.9 feet per second, give or take. So if you guys have an energy calculator, you can punch that in. It probably won't be that much energy, but it's, then again, it's the weakest shot. So now, so that was a shot number one. Now I'm going to put up to 60 PSI and see what we get with that. All right, this is exactly 60 PSI. Um, sorry about that. Just tough doing this with... One hand, putting the marble in. Falls all the way down, not a big deal. If they fall all the way down like that, it's pretty bad. You're like, okay, this definitely needs some wadding. Then go ahead and put some wadding in. But don't put too much so that it clogs up the barrel. Uh, if you're finding out that you have a ramrod and you're trying to um, stuff it down, and it's not going down anymore, you get a problem. And don't don't keep doing it because you could jam your gun and it could end up blowing back in your face. So just be careful. All right, so there's 60 psi with the same marble. Just 
So an increase of 10 PSI gets you to 174.1 feet per second. So an increase of about, give or take, 25 PSI. So now I'm gonna pump it up to 70 PSI. Again, this is with the, just a plastic soda bottle. Okay, this is a really cheap method. In a little bit, I'm gonna show you something else that's kinda of cool, but that's this is 60 PSI, and I'm gonna show you 70 PSI with the same bike pump that I'm using right here. So I'm gonna get up to 70, which is in between the 60 and 80, right? All right, I'm back. We're at 70 PSI. So let's drop the marble in. That one went down a little slow, it's just a little snug fit. A little more of a snug fit, so let's put the camera down. Right there, so you can see. Now again, this is 70 PSI, <clears throat> excuse me, with just a soda bottle now, just keep that in mind. 55.4 grain. So, Obviously much stronger at 209.5 feet per second. So it increased about 35 feet per second from the previous 25 feet per second increase from the 40 to 50 from, so from a, uh, that's pretty cool. That's 70 uh, PSI. And um, so let's see if we can get up to 80. All right, so going up to 80 PSI. Let's see how we do. Hopefully this won't burst in my face. <laughs> Hold on one sec. All right, 80 PSI. Drop the thing in. Let's see how we do. All right, you guys aren't gonna like this. It says 186.3. I um, think this is like this for two reasons. One, I heard a slight hissing sound at the end uh, right here. Um, so I think I might have to like seal this up around here a little more. Some of the air was escaping, so probably uh, went down a little bit. That's why I think. Uh, also because I think I might have hold, held the barrel too close to uh, the 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 um, sensors right there, and I think it might have picked up the speed of the air coming out instead of the speed of the uh, bullet of the marble. So that could be a reason. Um, I'm not going to seal it up now for you guys, only because it's going to take a while. It's a dry and cure and stuff. The, this is a plumber's putty right here. It's very it's very good, but uh, it started to hiss. So I'm going to say that 80 psi might be the max for this. Uh, uh, 75 psi would be probably the I would do the safest, the highest, the safest uh, thing you do, and you would probably get around 215 feet per second with the 55 grain bullet, which is pretty good. It's pretty fun, good for plinking. Uh, so that's the crony results. 186. I think that's just because for those two reasons, like I mentioned, I think I held it too close, and also this was hissing. So uh, maybe I'll do another another video one that's totally sealed up and get up to 80 maybe 90 psi with this plastic bottle I'll see how we do I'm not too sure uh, but I cited in the scope a little while ago so we'll do some shooting right now I'm gonna set that target up way back there about 30 feet away and we'll shoot at a can and see what we can do to the can with the scope and I'm gonna show you the shotgun portion of this gun how to make a shot shell so right now let's shoot the can with a marble and then we'll shoot the can with a shot shell See what we just so hold on one sec. I'm gonna pause it and set it up for you guys. There's the can. Sorry about that, I'm just trying to get set. So right now the ball's inside. Um the marble's inside, sorry. And uh I have this charged up to about 65 PSI. Um so so we'll see what we get right now. See what we can do with this can at 65 PSI. Alright. Let's hold on a second. <laughs> Alright, let's go check out the damage. Alright. 
All right, so 65 PSI. Looks like it didn't break it. Not a big deal. Again, because there's not much energy being produced because it's such a heavy, uh, well, actually there is a lot of it. There's energy being produced, but it's not too fast because it's just a soda bottle uh, that I'm using for my power play. It's just a soda bottle. It's not, uh, not like pressurated PVC. Uh, so that's 65 PSI. I'll, we'll get, let's see if we can get to 70 PSI, 75. I'll shoot this side of the can and we'll see if we can pierce it. 75 PSI. See if we can do it. All right, we're back 70 PSI. Shooting at the Sprite can. About 25 feet. Let's see. Let's see if we can break, pierce through it. Let's go check it out. Okay, all right. Sorry about that. There we go, we got a hole. Right there, it didn't go all the way, didn't go through the other side, but see that right in there, you can see through it. There's the hole. Pretty sure because marble actually came back right here. It's pretty hot actually. So, about 70 PSI. You can pierce through a can, 25 feet, not bad. Okay, that was pretty cool. So now, that was cool. This this gun is not only a 50 caliber sniper rifle with a scope thing over here. This is a basic 4x32 millimeter scope I found on one of my air guns. Basic center point, nothing big. Not only is it a 50 caliber sniper rifle with a soda bottle attached, but it is also a shotgun. So, I'm gonna show you guys how to make your own little shot shells. Pretty cool. Very, very primitive, very basic. Take a piece of paper towel like that, rip off an edge, you get a shot shell. When you rip off the uh, paper towel, you wanna cup it in your hands like this. See how I'm holding it? And then you take these BBs, you pour them inside. I think I got about probably 12 BBs in there. See if we can put a little more in. So you take it. See how it's, it kind of opens up like that? It's just a piece of paper towel. That's all it is. And let's see if we can put a couple more inside. Now we have our own shot shell. Now what we do is, this is going to be tough, so kind of bear with me. Take this, hold on, sorry. What I want to do is, basically I want to stuff it down here. Now, this is really tough, so I'm gonna set this down. So hopefully you guys can watch this. Uh, let's take out a couple of these because it's kind of heavy. And now what you can do is you have a shot shell. So if you say you want to get like that bird or something like that, or you just want to shoot something, you can keep the scope on, or you can take it off and have and put like a little bead over here. Now you have a shotgun. You throw a can up in the air and you shoot it down with the shot shell. So I'm gonna try to stuff it down. It's kind of tough. You basically wanna put it inside. My paper towel can rip at this point. So, um, just hold on one second. I don't have a stand actually, so. I'm just gonna stand this up. You guys won't be able to see this, but I'm just stuffing this shot shell in the barrel like this. It's just really tough to do laterally like that. Basically just, now it's inside. Now if you look inside, the shell is right there. The BBs are still intact, still inside. It's like a little bowl. Now you take your ramrod here. Take your basic ramrod and gently push it down. Push it all the way down to the bottom. Don't, once you feel it stop, just stop. Right now it's stopped. Don't push down anymore because you could rip it and then you don't have a shot shell, then you should have fire air with some BBs rolling out. So now we converted our 50 caliber sniper rifle into a, kind of like a turkey shotgun because it has a scope on it. But again, you can easily take off the scope because if you watch my other video, I'll, hopefully there's a link right there, you guys can watch it. 
these are like clamps you, you screw it on. You basically just screw this off. Now you get rid of the scope, put the clamp back on to secure the barrel right here. Then you just put like a bead here, like a front sight. Glue it right on or like, I don't know, like a, like a, a bolt, like a little like a lug, like a nut or something like that. And just glue it on top of there. Now you have a, a front sight to shoot with a shotgun. You throw a can in the air, you knock that down out of the air. It's pretty cool. But right now we're just gonna, sh I'm just gonna show you a spread. See what we can get by shooting that uh, sprite can right there. So I'm actually gonna move in a little closer only because I don't want to ruin my mother's door. <laughs> She's gonna get kind of mad at me if I don't, if I'm not accurate. So I'm gonna move the sensor. Hopefully you guys can kind of see. You guys will see the. You'll see, it'll, it'll. It should pierce the sprite can. You guys will see. Um, uh, the shell, uh, the shot will be on the spike, and you'll probably see some on the paper and stuff. Uh, I'm just gonna pump this up, the gun up to. Uh, let's do. We'll do 65, 70 psi like we did before. Let's see what we get. Uh, so just hold on one second. Okay, I'm back. I got my shotgun now, set nicely at sitting right at 70 psi. Uh, as you can hear, there's no like marble. Uh, inside because it's not like going up and down the barrel. <laughs> it's nice and secure in there, so hopefully we'll get a nice pattern. Uh, I'm wearing safety goggles because it could rebound any second. <laughs> so, here we go. Let's take a shot and see what we get. Alright, now watch closely. Alright. So, as I was right, <laughs> I don't know if some of the BBs hit the camera, but as you can see, some of them ricocheted. So always wear protection. And let's see how we do. I'm not even sure if I hit the can because I just kind of fired. But yeah, there are some little dots. You see these like dots? There's a dot right there. Right there, you can't really see it really. But uh, they're there. Um, I actually have to I have to make the shell more accurate. Um, th that's just a very primitive hit. Here's the shell, the the paper. Uh, that's a very very primitive way to um, to make a shot shell. I'm gonna work on making my own little plastic ones, or like get like a half inch in diameter plastic like tube. You know what I'm saying? Cut them up into little shot shell size pieces, and then just put my BBs in there. This way, I'll get much tighter groups and much more velocity. That's just a very primitive way. If you just want to knock a can out of the air, you may not pierce it, but if you just want to knock it out of the air for fun, that's what you should do. Very easy, very cheap. <laughs> like what? Less than a quarter of a penny <laughs> uh, to shoot. Very cheap. Um, so so there's your, your $20 homemade air gun, shotgun, 50 caliber air rifle and shotgun. So it's pretty cool. Um, so that's that. Again, this is obviously we didn't get the velocities we really wanted to get. Not bad for a $20 gun. I mean, there are a lot of people out there who obviously made much more complicated guns than this one, that, uh, including myself, which actually I'm going to show you another gun that I made in a second. Um, but this is just a very primitive, easy way. This is a San Pellegrino uh, soda water, mineral water bottle. So <laughs> that's my power plant. So it's still pretty cool that we can shoot marbles, you know, 50 caliber marbles and make a shotgun shell with the San Pellegrino bottle. So it's pretty cool. Very cheap way if you just want to have some fun. Uh, you know, it, could, it probably will still hurt, so be careful what you're shooting. Wear protection. Make sure you seal everything up. If you watch my video, I'll put the link in right now again. Watch my videos. I tell you exactly how to make this gun. It's very simple. I don't even show you how to make it because it's so simple. Um, I just basically walk you through how to seal everything, how to put everything in. Um, and now I'm actually going to show you a side by side. I'm gonna put this this down for just a second. I'm gonna get my other gun that I am currently working on. So here is my other gun. This, the same exact format as this one. Copper pipe, half inch, ball valve, half half inch, sealed up with plumber's putty. Except for the power plant, I now have PS. Uh, I'm sorry. Excuse me, PVC pipe. Uh, I got a two inch diameter PVC pipe with a nine cap. I'm gonna have the bike valve right in there, sealed off with plumbing study. 
uh, some reducers and obviously uh, in the end sealing everything up and getting it down to half inch and half inch barrel so I'm gonna put this uh, this gun on this stock and see what we get for some velocities I won't do it in this video stay tuned it'll be up soon I'll put it on this stock and see what we get for velocity Maybe you think we'll get more or less I don't know. Well, I will tell you that I already tested this gun without the stock, and the answer might blow you away. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, my battery's about to run out, so I'm gonna post this and comment what you want, what you uh, what you think, what I think I should have done better, how you, how I make it. Um, and again, this is a very simple $20 homemade air gun. All right, thanks for watching, and hit the subscribe button. Thanks.